Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can keep your files safe by using encrypted disk images in Mac OS X Lion. Now you might be saying that there's an easier way to do this and that is with File Vault. And while File Vault is built right into OS X and it's an easy way to encrypt your files, it's not ideal if you only want to keep a few items safe and locked away. So that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. So you're going to need disk utility for this and the easiest way to find that is to open up a new finder window, go to your hard drive, and from there the applications folder, and then utilities. And in utilities you should find disk utility and you can open that up. Now in disk utility it's fairly simple. All you have to do is select new image. And here I can select a title for the image. So let's say I want to call this image image. Now this is the title of the image that you're going to see when the file is on your desktop. And under name this is the name the disk image actually has when you see it mounted in Finder. So I'll call this one a disk, so you can see the difference between them later. And then from here I can choose the size of the disk image. And there's a whole bunch of different sizes, or I can choose custom. And in here I can choose sectors, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. And of course if your drive isn't several terabytes in size, you're not going to want to choose several terabytes because it's not going to work. But for this demo I'm just going to choose the default 100 megabytes. Now, important word of note is that once you choose the size of the disk image, you cannot switch it back after you've created it, and you cannot put any files in this image that exceed 100 megabytes. And once you've filled it up, that's it. You can't keep adding more files unless you delete some. And then we move to the format section. Now, there's a lot of different formats here, and any of the Mac OS formats will not work on a Windows computer if you choose to use the image on more than one computer. Now if you want to know more about formats, you can check out another video I did on Cult Mac. And of course I'll have a link to that post below the video so you can watch that as well. And then here's where I can select encryption. Now there's two different types of encryption. And the best one to choose is 128-bit AES encryption. And that is recommended. If you choose something like 256-bit, it's incredibly secure, but it's much slower. And really anything over 128 is not really necessary. And then under partitions, the thing that I always choose, and the best thing in here is single partition, and that is the master boot record partition map. So this is what's standard, and unless you want to use your disk image for other purposes, this is what you'll want to choose. And then from here you can choose image format. Now the default is read and write disk image, and that's what we're going to use for this. But if you choose something like a sparse image, that'll actually grow over time as you put files in it, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about the, in this case, 100 megabyte size limit. But for now, we'll just leave it like it is. And then from here, I can select Create, and it's going to ask me for my password. So for this demo, I'm just going to use Password as the password, which is not secure at all, but it's just a demo. And you can see the password string is very weak. Now I'm going to uncheck Remember Password in my keychain, because if you leave this checked, anytime somebody on your computer tries to open this image, it'll let them write in because the password's in your keychain. So I'm going to uncheck that and select OK and it's going to create the image rather fast in this case because it's only 100 megabytes. And now here on the desktop you can see image.dmg and this is your disk image. So if I open up a new finder window you can see that it's mounted right here and it's just called disk and now I can drag whatever files I would want to into it and they'll copy right in and then I can eject the disk. And now once the disk is ejected, if I try to open it up right here, you can see it's going to tell me to enter the password for the image. So I'll just enter password, and now if I open up a new finder window, it'll have let me write in, and there I can see all my encrypted files. So there you go, there's how to use encrypted disk images in Mac OS X. This is a great way to keep some of your more sensitive files safe. If you have any how-tos that you'd like to see me do, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching. Oh, my God.